Hey everyone, and welcome to Isms by Josie. Today we're going to be doing a short nail dip powder design using dried flowers. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So here are my natural nails, and this is how long it's been. I was super impatient with removing the dip powder, and on my middle finger, I accidentally just ripped it off. So it is now no longer even with the rest of these guys, and that is my fault, and I'm going to have to grow it back. So I did file down uh, the rest of the nails a little bit, prep them, and I'm putting nail dehydrator and primer and we're going to fix this so i'm going to go about leveling off this nail with the rest of them by using um, hard gel or builder gel today i'm using hard gel by gelish and you're going to see how i rebuild this nail now this is the quickest way to fix your nails without having to in the past i would just cut the rest down because I didn't want it to look weird that I had like somewhat long nails and then the short nail. I normally, since I'm just growing this out and it's just for me, I would have just left it like I have in the previous videos. Um, but this is substantially a different size compared to the other nails. I'm actually proud of myself that I've gotten um, the rest of the nails to grow out so long and they're pretty healthy um, and again it's all to do with um, my diet care and um, vitamins and um, it's just a shame that I just honestly was <laughs> over soaking um, I soak them for a little over 15 minutes and normally it should come off but because the last set if you hadn't seen the video I did make it a thicker um, set than I normally do um, it should have soaked in a little longer and I just wasn't about that life at the time so um, I just ripped it off not thinking that you know my nail could go with it so when it, it wasn't a bad break it just lift a layer um and um kind of caused like a chip in the nail um so you know i couldn't just leave it as is um i could have repaired it i guess using the hard gel but it was already thin so um, I just trimmed it off and now I'm just rebuilding it. So as you can see, it's so easy to rebuild with this hard gel. Um, even the builder in a bottle that I've seen, that's probably easiest for what we're trying to do today. But I like using hard gel, so I have it on hand and I um, ended up using this. And as you can see, um, it looks like uh, nothing ever happened. And I'm just uh, filing this down to size. Balancing off the surface of the nail, making sure everything is nice and smooth and even. And I do want to make sure that the nail is not um, thick because we are going to be adding um, layers of dip power powder over it. So I just want to make sure that I get this as thin as possible now. Um, I do like to watch how thin I go, um, but since these are shorter nails and not the longer ones that I normally do, like I did in the last videos, um, uh, it's, I'm not too worried about making this thinner than it should be. Um, I'm trying to make it natural nail thin, although I didn't. There is, uh, it's probably a little less than a credit card thickness. Um, but again, we're doing dips, so it's okay. So I'm putting on uh, prep uh, on the natural nails, and now I'm using the base bottle and dipping it into acrylic powder. This is the um, bright white acrylic powder by nail Hand and Nail Harmony. And I'm only going to do two coats of this. I just need enough to cover the nail in white. And we're going to be encapsulating dried flowers. So I don't want this to be thick this time. 
Um, the last video I was trying to make like the eggshell kind of look so I wanted I wanted it to be a little bulbous. This time I just want it to be close to a natural thickness. Um, so again, I'm only doing two coats of this white and then we're going to put uh, dried flowers on top and then encapsulate it with clear and I put two coats of the clear on that. I'm just taking my fan brush and wiping off the excess powders. And here is a close up of what I'm going to be doing next. Like I said, so I'm just taking some of that base uh, step and I'm just going to put it on the lower half of my nail just to give something for the dried flowers to adhere on. And these are store bought um, through Amazon. They're not like flowers I had lying around <laughs> um I guess they're treated special to keep the pigment in it um brighter than it, it would if you naturally dried your nails I've seen some people put fresh flowers and encapsulate um the fresh flower but um after that cures and a short time afterwards the petals I guess die and the color the vibrant color that you encapsulated will end up yellowing and or browning um so it doesn't end up looking all that nice so yeah just buy some uh tiny uh dried flowers on amazon or whatever and cut them up into little pieces and i'm just um spreading them out on the lower tip here and I'm trying to uh, just divide up those colors. I have like yellow, red, pink, purple, blue, um, and green. And I'm just making sure I at least have one of each on the tip. And then if I have more than one, uh, one of the same color, I'm just like uh, spreading it out a little bit. So I've wanted to use these dried flowers for quite some time. I bought these like years ago and um, I haven't found the, the inspiration to use it yet. Um, today I just uh, transplanted my little plantlings into the flower box. Um, so I guess I'm in spring mode now and definitely in spring mode because um, today I have some wild allergies. I mean, like, I'm not normally a person that has allergies, but I guess I found with age you can randomly form allergies. So today I've been sneezing my head off and I had to take like an Allegra or whatever it was. <laughs> And I'm just like really chill right now. <laughs> I'm still sneezing a little bit. Um, but that medication, I don't like taking anything. But uh, for the life of me, I could not stop sneezing my head off. Um, it just knocked me out. So I slept for a good amount of the day. And um, now it's like towards the end of the day here and um, I just feel drained and I still have stuff to do. I'm starting back up a new diet slash workout program for the next three weeks and um, I'm making my food for the week and I'm making my husband's lunch for tomorrow and I just feel like my head is waterlogged <laughs> and I just want to like sleep but I don't want to say I felt like I slept so much today I just want to like lay down and watch a movie or something <laughs> especially since I have work in my first exercise or workout tomorrow um so hopefully soon after this video I'm like in the middle of baking so um hopefully like that can just finish up and I can get to just enjoying like a movie or something. 
So I'm just going to continue this technique on each of the rest of the nails. And um, this is like a far away look now so you can see the madness of these flowers. I mean, it was kind of fun, but I hate working with like super tiny things. I'm trying to use these tweezers without destroying the flowers because they're so stiff because they're dried flowers that um, they tend to break easy. So this wasn't a super fun moment, but I do love the little pops of color on these tips. This is exactly what I wanted it to look like and I love that I had fixed that nail because it looks like nothing ever happened. So um, continuing with my movie watching, for those of you that have um, Hulu or access to find this movie, you have to watch Austin Land. It has Carrie Russell in it. I'm, I watched this movie like days ago and I could not stop laughing. It was like one of those movie nights where I had a cocktail and, and just chilling with Dexter watching the movie. And it's like a romantic comedy. And for anybody that likes Jane Austen, she's an author. Um, it's kind of like a modern take of trying to get back to that kind of old world um, story life that Jane Austen portrayed in her, her novels. It, and it's just so funny. I can't. I mean, I'm not going to dispense what the story is and, and all that. But like, um, if you have Hulu... Uh, watch Austin Land. It, it was so funny. I saved it. I'm going to watch it over and over again because I just can't. <laughs> it's funny because like, you know, I consider myself to be like a modern woman, but um, I do like Jane Austen stories. It's like one of those things that, you know, would never happen, but <laughs> it's always nice to think that, oh, maybe, or at least read it in a book or watching it in a movie. So, um, that's why I enjoy every now and then these kinds of movies. I'm typically more of like an action, horror, comedy um, movie watcher, but um, I do have my moments where I have to watch rom-coms, and um, lately I've been watching as many as I can, so I guess it's the spring season or something, but um, yeah, definitely check that movie out. So, um, I am applying some activator after I finish encapsulating, um, those flowers. And then we're going to put one more coat of this base coat and it dries very quickly, uh, surprisingly quickly if you haven't used dip powder before. And I, I'm going to give this a nice file. I'm going to use my coarse file to, um, file the tips and shape these guys up and I'm going to use a medium coarse file just to balance out the surface of each nail and then I'm using uh, my buffers I went from a coarse to a medium buffer using both of the coarse and finer sides because I want the surface to be nice and smooth and I'm applying some applicator again. And before I seal it with a top coat, I'm going to use some shiny striping gel. And I wanted to do a glitter ombre on this. Um, I envisioned doing this uh, design a couple of weeks ago. And I made a mental note just uh, so that I don't rem forget what I wanted to do this week for you guys. But what I'm doing now is uh, this comes off like I really hate how sometimes the glitter polishes don't come on as they look like in the bottle. You have to put on several layers to get it to look the way um, that it looks through the bottle. But in this case, I don't think it's terrible. So I'm just spreading a thin layer and gradually pulling the glitter towards the tip. And then towards the um, base of the nail, I'm just, as you see here, applying extra coats. So towards the cuticle, I'm going to be um, just layering on this glitter polish, making um, a thick coating so that it looks like um, it's more dense towards the cuticle and then it ombres down to the tip. 
And this I find to be way easier than ombre <laughs> a solid color. I'm not that great at ombre anything, but I think this whole glitter thing is a lot easier to attempt than um, what I've tried in the past. Regular polish ombre is a lot easier than gel polish ombre for me because um, with the regular polish you just use a sponge and you layer on top of each other. The gel, you kind of have to like blend it with the brush and um, I did that in the last uh, long nail video and um, that was fun but I don't think it came off as ombre enough, I guess, if I can say that. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm just going to continue this technique to the other nails. I really like how this is coming out. I love the color combos. I got, you know, such vibrant colors at the tips. And then I have that rainfall of gold glitter showering onto them. So um, I'm really happy with what I'm doing um, right now. So I'm just going to keep applying as many coats as I need to give it that ombre effect. And then I'm going to um, allow this to dry a decent amount because we're going to top coat this and I don't want any weird wrinkling or anything like that. So I have to make sure that I give um, this regular nail polish time to dry. So after that's dry, I'm using Gelish Top Coat. I'm applying a thin um, layer and just one layer. Um, I don't want to make these nails any thicker. Um, they're actually not that thick uh, of a nail, um, so I'm really happy with that. And I'm just applying this to seal on that glitter and keep everything in place because we encapsulated the flowers, so those guys are not going to move. But I just want to make sure that I give a nice shiny coating and seal everything in. So I'm going to nail cleanse each nail, remove the sticky layer, remove any glitter that I might have gotten onto my skin. I realized how much I was out of frame doing this, <laughs> but we're just cleaning the nail so that's not a big deal. And again, apologies for my lack of enthusiasm here, but I think I'm still on that um, allergy pill. So I'm just wiping um, this cuticle oil all around my nails. And here is the end result. My encapsulated dry flower dried spring flower design with that ombre glitter. Here's a close up. Look how pretty that is. It's so cute. And I fixed that middle fingernail. You would have never known what had happened. And you can clearly tell that ombre is there. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. And join me next time when I do a long nail design. See you again next time. Thanks. Bye.